Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. So one of the problems that we face when we are preparing our shrimp farm is the need to remove a lot of these algae, snails and fish that are already present in the ponds. So these organisms were actually introduced via the tide. And in this episode, we'll be covering some of the chemicals and the application of these chemicals to remove some of the unwanted organisms that could occur in your shrimp farms. So to understand where are these unwanted species coming from, you first need to understand how water is being introduced in the farm. So as you can see here on the right side, we have water that is on the high tide coming from the sea or the river, and they get introduced into the pond via these three pipes you see over here on the left. So the three pipes outside the pond are being connected to the pipes that are inside the pond, as you see right here in this video so obviously we have already have water in the pond which is actually being introduced in the by the tide so what we have add up to this point in the pond this is actually bkc which is a herbicide and also tea seed cake to get rid of unwanted fish species so these two components are really important to ensure that any water you introduce from the tide get rid of all of the eggs and all of the unwanted organisms that could pass on their eggs and offsprings into the ponds. So for some of those uh, who have followed our previous episode, we've actually managed to find a crab and even algae and lots and lots of snails. So this is to ensure that these species do not carry the diseases across species like crabs because they are known to carry diseases such as white spot. So one of the methods to ensure that your chemicals are being well mixed is to ensure that your paddle wheel aerators are turned on after post chemical application so like what we do here so we also take this opportunity to test out all of our different aerators to see whether they are working properly or not as you see over here so the previous video have actually shown that after application of chemicals you see a lot of foaming but after 24 hours you can actually see that the foaming has already reduced as the picture from the drone or the video of the drone image actually suggests so the water has actually cleared up we don't produce so much foam as previously and but we do see some of the accumulation of the tea seed cake at beside the aerator so what i've done uh, to tow the ground crew is to ensure that we apply tea seed cake across areas that have uh, very close to the paddle wheel like you see over here so when we turn on the paddle wheel the ones that are in line gets mixed and applied throughout the pond but you still have a bit of residue so you have to ensure that these tc cakes are being applied and oxidized throughout a long period of let's say seven to ten days so this is just a recap of how we started the pond with a bunch of algae that's floating on top and this was the area footage before we actually started the pond as you can see there were lots of algae snails but we removed them firstly by mechanical methods mainly manual labor and then we introduced the tide inside the water into the pond and lastly, to apply BKC and TC cake to remove any unwanted species. So we hope you learn a great deal about cream farming in this process, and we hope to see you again in RS Aquaculture. Mm -hmm.